The nitrogen vacancy centre is regularly thought of as an effective molecule, consisting of one nitrogen and three carbon atoms surrounding a central vacancy, which is trapped in the diamond crystal lattice. Its molecular orbitals lie in the diamond band gap, and electrons in these orbitals interact with red visible light, unlike pure diamond which is transparent. The nitrogen vacancy center has ground and excited states with triple spin degeneracy, but there is also relaxation from the excited state via intermediate spin singlet levels, and this preferentially fills the ms equals zero state. Cycles of optical excitation and decay produce optically induced spin polarization, and this key property underpins many of the exciting nitrogen vacancy applications in fields such as magnetic sensing, biological imaging, and quantum information processing. A weak emission band in the infrared with a zero phonon line at 1042 nanometers is associated with decay between these two singlet levels. We have applied uniaxial stress to this infrared transition and gained a better understanding of the electronic levels in this important decay channel. The diamond was squeezed between hardened steel anvils to apply stress along well-defined crystal axes, and the shifts and splittings of the zero phonon line were measured. In an earlier paper, the strain split spectral lines were incorrectly assigned, and this led to an inaccuracy of the stated stress parameters that describe the line shift as a function of applied stress. Here, we used careful resonant excitation to probe the various nitrogen vacancy orientations independently and unambiguously identify the transitions, allowing the correct stress parameters to be determined. The physical origin of these parameters is considered within the accepted electronic model of the center. The singlet levels both have the same configuration of electrons in the molecular orbitals, and so the infrared transition does not change the shape of the electronic charge distribution, but only reorganizes the electrons. Stress-induced shifts and splittings of this transition can only arise from the way stress modifies the Coulomb repulsion interaction between electrons. The transition between the triplet states involves an electron moving to an orbital of different shape, and so the electronic charge distribution around the molecule is altered. The shifts of the visible transition arise from the way that uniaxial stress modifies the electron nucleus attraction, as well as the electron-electron repulsion. We have measured similar stress parameters for the visible and infrared transitions, indicating that these two interactions are of similar magnitude. This is characteristic of a covalently bonded molecule, and validates the molecular model of color centers. At higher stress, an extra spectral feature was observed, which is established to be a vibronic level 115 wave numbers above the singlet E. Arguments associated with this level resolve long-standing contention regarding the order of the singlets and establish the singlet E to be the lower singlet. These results suggest that electron vibration interaction is significant within the nitrogen vacancy system and can play a role in the transitions that cause the important spin polarization property. The two ideas of electron coulomb repulsion and electron vibration coupling are key details which have tended to be overlooked in the study of color centers.